Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries, we will take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you do at least have to know each other. So whether or not you're crushing on each other or you're separated or whatever your situation is here, uh, hopefully we'll get your energies and this will resonate for you. If it does not resonate for you, please don't try to make it fit and um, leave me negative comments. I will delete them. Um, you can check the description box below for your past uh, playlist, Love in General. Maybe something there will resonate for you. I do consider them timeless, so feel free to check that out. If not, you can check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading also is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So you can check my channel for those other signs in your chart if you wish to. And this can be for male or female. It can be past, present, or future. Like I said, please only take what resonates for you and the energies can be also interchangeable, so please do keep that in mind. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what we have for Aries at this time in love, whoever you are thinking about for this reading for the General Collective. It's not a private reading at this time. Spirit, please, thank you so much for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, General Collective. What is going on with Aries and whoever they are thinking about at this time for this reading? So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. And we'll see how this resonates in your reading. So, and there are a lot of other things down below in the description box. If you'd like to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media links. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift. All that info is down below in the description box. And um, if you're new, feel free to check out my channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell. You get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. So Aries, let's see what's going on for Aries. If this part doesn't resonate with you, that is totally, totally fine. So we do have air, which could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. But air here is all about truth, clarity, everything to do with the mind, communication, ideas. Um, so there could be that there needs to be communication, open, honest, truthful communication between you and another um, in some way, shape, or form. So we'll see. Or somebody's gaining clarity here on a situation. And we do have seven there, which is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So we'll see how this plays into your reading. Or somebody could be overthinking also about something here. All right, so we'll see how this plays out for you, Aries. So if you're new, uh, this is how this works is first I will pull an overall love energy, opening love energy message for you and your person, whoever you're thinking about uh, at this time for this reading. And then I'll pull one for you, one for your person, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. And I will put you, uh, Aries, here, your person here. But like I said, anytime during the reading, if you feel like the energies need to be changed, Please feel free to do that at any time, and we'll see what we get here. So then I'll clarify that energy with the tarot, and then we'll look at the actual um, situation, advice, possible outcome, closing messages with this oracle, and I always go over the bottoms of the decks. So let's see. For Aries, what is the opening love connection energy like? The message for Aries. And love whoever they're thinking about at this time for this reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. What is the opening message, Spirit, please? Ooh. So we got this one Man of the Earth and Woman of the Sky. And we have 48 there, which is 12, which is 3, which is about teamwork, collaboration, uh, community, social energy, coming together, you know, reuniting, uniting. So we have man of the earth and woman of the sky. So the man of the earth could be man or woman of the earth or man or woman of the sky. You know, the sky energy is that spiritual energy. Again, sky is air, <laughs> which is the clarity here. And the man or woman of the earth is that things that are grounded in the um, earthly realms. So the, you know, our earthly needs, necessities, our foundations and that kind of energy. But the energy of the sky is all about that truth, that clarity, that divine connection, that spiritual energy. And what connects the two together. So I feel like here, and with the three, which is about, you know, that teamwork, collaboration, things coming together, uh, uniting, reuniting. Somebody here, I feel, who's been very 
practical in their energy, whether it's a man or a woman. Uh, it's all about the physical, tangible aspects of the uh, earthly realm. Um, you know, what makes them stable, work, career, finance, all those tangible things. Not really having somebody not maybe who didn't really have a very spiritual sense before or connection here. I feel like now is gaining clarity and maybe those two energies are now intermingling within this person and now they're becoming enlightened because you see the light here. So somebody who wasn't maybe spiritual before or divinely connected and more with the tangible earthly realm, you know, things they can see, feel, touch um, kind of energy, I think now is starting to believe in the things that they can't see, feel, or touch. And that energy is starting to intermingle within them and gaining truth clarity of some kind. So somebody could be starting to get uh, divinely, spiritually connected in some way about this connection. Wow. All right. So, or it could be that you two are just very different. One's very spiritual and the other one is not. So, but let's see here. Let's get one for you, Aries, and one for your person, one for Aries. So we have three, two, one. Wow. And that is just exactly what I was saying. And we have 10 here, which is about a completion, but then a new beginning. So this could actually be your uh, energy, Aries, because this is you. So three, two, one is that energy of mind, body, and soul all connecting and becoming one. One with yourself and one with the universe and with that spiritual enlightenment, with the tangible things that you can see and things that you can't see and are all becoming one. Wow. So that could actually be your energy now and getting that clarity. So that could be you, Aries, because 10 equals one and Aries, you are one. So it could actually be you, Aries. All right. So... Let's see how Aries person is feeling about them and the connection. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. That just I just can't believe that came out because it's exactly what that card means. That the mind, body, and soul all becoming one. Okay. The breaking. So somebody had a breakthrough here. Um, and we got 65, which is 11. 11 is half the twin flame number, but coming together. Uh, add that together, too, is about unity, partnerships. I feel like your person knows now that you've had an awakening, a breakthrough on, on, the, on this connection, on um, divine source, energy, enlightenment, all that energy. And now all that energy has become one for them. Their mind, body, and soul, enlightenment, their spiritual side has now all become one. Wow. Wow. So you see them as having a massive, massive breakthrough. And I think <clears throat> they see you in that energy. And I also think you have had that energy or you see them because they have the breaking here. So maybe, you know, this is them, but because this is how you see each other in the connection. You both actually could have gone through this like spiritual awakening together of having truth and clarity. Wow. Maybe one here is very spiritual and one was very practical and grounded. And you both kind of grounded each other. The one who was more grounded into the physical world is now more spiritual. And the more spiritual one, the grounded one, has brought them down and grounded them more into the physical world. Wow. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom here. Within nothing, there is everything, which is two, again, with the unity and partnerships energy here. So I feel like one here could have been like, you know, I just have my practical things, my tangible things, my work, career, finance, things I can see and feel, and that's it. And the other one is maybe very spiritual and didn't really believe in those grounding aspects of the, of the physical world of having structure and balance and physical uh, stability in the physical earthly world. So I feel like each feeling like, well, there is nothing else but what 
I believe in or what I see or what, what I feel or what I have, there is nothing else. But yet, within all of that, together, there is everything in the partnership and unity here. Well, this is pretty deep, Aries. It's pretty deep. All right, so I'm just getting like two polar opposites coming together and then like balancing each other out. One grounding more into the physical world and one um, be, one helping one become the other, become more enlightened and spiritual. And then all that energy coming into like one, like two energies coming into one. All right, so... Okay, so let's clarify this energy for you, Aries. Feeling like very spiritual energy reading. All right, so Aries, Aries, Aries. Let's clarify this for Aries spirit, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Justice. So here's the balance, truth, and clarity. Libra energy. So there it is. So yeah, I feel like, see how she's grounding herself with her bare feet? Well, no, she's got sandals on, but she's grounding herself. And she's got her sword in the air for truth and clarity. So it's like all that energy becoming one, bringing balance, truth, clarity. All right, so what else here? And I'm getting divine energy too with the angel wings for Aries, the Empress. So Emperor, Empress here, doesn't matter here. So <laughs> now, and this is three. Wow. And we got 11 here, and this person over here has 11. Wow. 11, 11. I feel like this could be a twin flame connection, even though you're total polar opposites. You come together and just, like, meld into one perfect energy. Wow. So the Empress... So this can be Libra Taurus. So this is yeah, birth of something new, knowing your value and your worth. So somebody here, either you or your person here, knows exactly who they are, melding all these energies, having value and worth, transformational energy, growth, expansion, truth and clarity. Wow, two majors here. So let's see here with your person. Your person person here for Aries. It's like two separate worlds like becoming one. The two of ones. So feeling a bit at a crossroads um, here for some reason. So let's see what else here for your per And that is the fire energy. So they definitely have you in their energy to draw fire Aries. One more for Aries person death Scorpio energy so this is about ending an old belief system old way of thinking old way of doing seeing feeling and transforming because we have the uh, butterflies here transcending transforming healing ending that old system and starting new starting fresh here because the death is about ending Ending of a situation, person, place, thing, belief system, whatever here. But being at a crossroads. So being at a crossroads about their belief system, like, I don't know if I can go down a different road, a different path, and believe and you know, and leave what I believe, you know, what I always was taught to believe or seem to believe, or whatever here, and go down this new transformative spiritual path. But we do have death and resurrection and healing and transformation here. So I do feel like this is a total breaking point for them at this crossroads. And then finally just transforming themselves. Wow. And this connection. Well, let's get, I just want to clarify death. Why is that here? Why is that here for Aries person? Aries person. Ten of Cups. Yeah, because, wow. They want total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Soulmates coming into union here. The belief of the old system of soulmates, twin flames, or whatever they believed in the past, 
but they were always taught to believe whatever path they've always been on, now changing course, path, direction, ending of the old ways and starting fresh, starting new and transforming, and now having this new spiritual soulmate union here. Some actually may, uh, may actually have a child with this person or have children in the future because we have someone who is with child here. We have a child here. So if you have had a child with this person, I feel like somebody here is going to do what's moral, just and right and do the right thing. All right, so let's get the actual situation here for you. Aries in this connection. Four of Swords. So healing, resting, rejuvenating kind of energy. We're all in that energy of isolation right now. Healing, resting, rejuvenating, recuperating, retreat mode. King of Wands energy here. So that's your energy. It can be Sag, but um, it's Leo, Aries, Sag. It's fire. So that's your energy here. So there, you're definitely in... That's your energy. So... So, I mean, it could be, like I said, two worlds coming into one more, you know, one more about the physical world and one more about the spiritual world. And they're coming together and like grounding each other um, in a different way. So, so whatever side, I guess, resonates for you, however you feel this is, but I am calling this you and that, and that side them. So this is that fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. It's like you want to drive this forward. You want to take action on this. You feel with the lion there, which is the strength card, a very strong connection, fiery, passionate energy with this person. But yet no one can take action because we are in this four swords energy because it's the state of the world right now. So you could be separated from this person right now because of the current situations. So what else here for Aries? Six of Cups. So yeah. Soulmate energy here. You both feel it. Past lives together. Or someone you've known for the past, again, with children. So definitely could have children, or you could have children in the future, or, maybe, or you've known them since childhood. But this is a soulmate, definite soulmate, twin flame energy here. Past lives, or you've known them since childhood, or something like that. Queen of Cups energy here. King or Queen, doesn't matter. But this is cancer, but doesn't have to be. But again, a lot of love, emotions, feelings, intuitive energy, um, compassionate, loyal, loving, nurturing kind of energy. So they're definitely in that energy of wanting to, you know, be nurtured, love, uh, wanting to also give out that energy, listening now to their gut, their intuition, their higher knowing, being now being divinely connected. So that person, this person has the breakthrough. Has had the breakthrough. All right. I feel like you were the more spiritual one. And they were more of the physical aspect of the world. And now it's like you're both grounding each other into the different energies and becoming one energy. Strength. And did I not just say strength here? The king of wands with the lion. Here's the lion again. So you both are in that same energy. You both recognize this. This is Leo, the strong connective bond, soulmate bond that you both have here. But the strength here is about being courageous and brave, um, holding back, willpower, um, stamina, all that energy. It's taking all of their willpower and strength to hold back their love, emotions, and feelings because it's such a strong bond here. But because of the state of the world, if you're separated, you can't come together right now. You know this, so you're just kind of, you know, patiently waiting you know, but they're like, it's taking them a lot more strength and endurance and willpower than I feel like you are just kind of calm, cool, collected, and you know, you know, okay, this will happen, you know, when everything is healed in the world. Because now, wow, we have the King of Cups energy, matching couple. This can be Pisces, but doesn't have to be. So this is a divine soulmate twin flame energy here. I'm getting this in like all the readings, similar readings, so it must be... Whatever is transforming in the world, the healing, the um, enlightenment because of the situation of the world is bringing all these energies out. Wow. This is your advice. The hermit. Again, we're all in hermit mode right now. 
Virgo energy here. So healing, <laughs> recuperating, it's like the Four of Swords energy over here. Rejuvenating, recuperating, healing, um, thinking, contemplating energy. All right, so what else here? So we got the Nine of Pentacles energy, which is that Earth energy, which is about, again, there's a lion again. Well, it's a tiger, but still, there's a... <laughs> Is that strength, that energy between the two of you, and another reference to a cat here. Wow. So, Queen of Wands now. So we got the King, King and Queen of Wands, and the King and Queen of Cups. This is a heavy, heavy divine soulmate, twin flame energy here. Very strong bond, past life, or someone you know from the past could have children, or you may have children in the future, or it's just the birth of something new, but. I feel like your advice is here while we're in lockdown in hermit mode. No, there is love, deep love between the two of you. This is a divine soulmate twin flame connection. Um, but just concentrate on yourself right now. Nine of Pentacles is about concentrating on yourself. You work, if you're working, your work, career, finances, your stability, uh, doing what you can now to stay stable and grounded and just concentrating on yourself in the earthly realm. The Hermit could be very spiritual energy also. But we do have the Queen of Wands here, which could be Aries. That's your energy. So this is your advice. To be, you know, in your power, in your fire element. Being strong, courageous, and brave. You know, go-getter. That you can go after this when we all can come out of Hermit mode here. But right now, it's just, you know, being independent, stable, and grounded in your own right and uh, concentrating on yourself until we all can come out of hermit mode. All right, so what is the possible outcome for this connection for Aries, for Aries here, for Aries? Possible outcome of this connection, the Nine of Swords. So yeah, there's still stress, fear, worry, and anxiety over this, still about healing of the world, being in hermit mode, eight of cups. So this is either walking away. Somebody could be stressed and uh, have fear about maybe, you know, somebody will just decide to walk away. But this is also walking to something in search of something more fulfilling or going to what is more fulfilling to you. So what else here for Aries? The chariot, yeah. So this is positive movement forward. A cancer energy here, success, balance, going after what you want, a lot of drive, ambition. You may be fearing that, you know, <laughs> this is a possible outcome. So there is, will be a balance to the yin and yang divine soulmates here. I don't think you have to fear of anyone walking away here. You're fearing that deep down inside, but just know the chariot is going to drive this home. And there'll be balance here between divine energies. So what's on the bottom of the deck? Ten of Swords. So this is a painful, hurtful ending. The Seven of Cups, confusion. So again, I feel like some are confused here that this may be over, this may be the end. Where, you know, what if the other person gets sick? Or something like that. So this could be about confusion, options, kind of energy. So I feel like someone's confused about this may end or not. But here is the energy of rushing in with truth and clarity with the Knight of Swords moving very quickly. Which could be Aquarius energy. Four of Pentacles. So holding on, not letting go, holding on, holding back. Uh, stability, foundation energy here. And then we have the Moon energy again, Cancer or Pisces. So... You know, this is about also fear, worry, anxiety, uh, not seeing the path clearly or secrets or illusions, but needing to trust gut and intuition, that spiritual energy. But we have the Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups here, which could be Scorpio. So this is forward movement and love, forward movement and love and passion with the Knight of Wands, which could be Leo energy. So just know, you know, fair illusion that there'll be forward movement with love and passion even though there's a holding back right now and this will happen very quickly once 
you know, we can all come back together. So, you know, don't be confused or illusioned thinking this is over. That's what I'm thinking with this. Because somebody definitely wants to work hard on this connection also with the Eight of Pentacles and which could lead to commitment or marriage here with the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy here. So, and I just saw the King of Swords, which is about that truth, the clarity of the air energy here. This is Gemini, divine intervention, divine clarity about this. So I don't think you have to worry. Somebody will be coming forward with truth, clarity, communication also about this whole connection. All right. I don't sense, I feel like, you know, probably not together because of the current circumstances, but um, I'm not getting like there isn't any communication between the two of you, but maybe not really communicating um, exactly what you want to happen in the future. So right now, while there is, while there, there is nothing happening between the two of you, there's actually everything happening between the two of you, if that makes any sense. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here for you, Aries, Aries, Aries. Let's get some closing messages for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Love, Collective at this time, male or female. For Aries, please, what are the closing messages on this connection? For Aries. We've got two here. We have soul craft which is 10 which is about uh endings and then new beginnings so again i feel like soul craft here somebody is transforming crafting like a whole new way of being if they weren't spiritual before now they are if they weren't so grounded in the physical form and tangible things and just like in their own i don't want to say in their own cloud of spiritual energy and not really grounded in the 3d i feel like now uh those energies are uh you know, evening out here. And we do have Divine Masculine, 32, which is five, which is challenge and change. So something here with Divine Masculine here, whether it's um, you or them, somebody here has really transformed and healed and a whole new way of thinking, seeing, believing here it could be the Divine Masculine. You could be feminine, Divine Masculine, doesn't really matter. Let's get one more. So this person is your divine counterpart. Because we do have the Empress here, which is the divine feminine. And now we have the divine masculine. So this is saying this is your divine counterpart, Aries. Let's get one more. One more. Insight, yeah. 13, four, stability, foundation. So yeah, somebody's gained new insight. I think you both have gained new insight on spirituality, life, world, practicality, and soul tree. 21, three, working together, together, teamwork, collaboration, planting the seeds together to grow this firm foundation into the strong, abundant tree, soul bond, soul ties, uh, soul purpose, soul mates, the strong, abundant soul tree, wow. So definitely coming from the same tribe, family, um, energy here. Wow, Aries. Okay, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.